Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm Kylie. Thank you so much for being here today. And today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day on WW and I'm actually on the blue plan. I've been doing this for a few weeks now and I wanted to share with you what I've been eating. I just wanted to put a little thing here in the beginning of the video that if you do not like watching these health type of videos, then please click off right now. I do not want to steer you in the wrong direction. I am just simply making this video to give you some meal ideas if you are also doing WW or simply if you like watching these videos as well. Without further ado, let's get into my day of eating on WW Blue. So it is currently breakfast time. Normally I will just have eggs and toast. That's just the type of person I am. I love eggs and toast and probably a coffee. Okay, so I didn't really touch base on why I'm doing WW, but we can talk while I crack these eggs. So basically I like WW because it's more of a lifestyle change and it's not a diet. I hate diets. I've tried them in the past. They don't work for me and I don't like restricting myself. I don't like what diets stand for. I don't think that you should restrict yourself personally from anything. I, on this plan, I eat fats, I eat carbs and I eat protein. I eat a lot of that. I eat it all day long and that's what I like about this. And I like that this is basically just changing the way that I eat all of those things in more of a moderation. So that is why I chose to do this and just more of a healthier way and just more of a sustainable way really. So it's just more of like a point-based system. So for me, eggs are zero points. I think obviously if you eat like 20 eggs, it might be points, but today I'm having three eggs for breakfast and they're zero points. I'm making more than three because I'm making them for Will and I, so that's what I'm doing, but I think this egg is stuck to the carton. I'll deal with that another day. It's just been really nice to make better, smarter choices on WW. Vegetables, fruits are zero points. This is not going to work. Okay. I eat clementines or mandarin oranges for a snack over potato chips. And that to me is a better choice. So it's helping me make better choices. And like I said, it's a lifestyle change. So it's helping me make better lifestyle changes. In the past on diets, I felt like I was restricting myself, restricting what I was eating, and then I was just hungry. So in the past, I felt like I was like starving myself and not eating things. Now, if I'm hungry, I'll grab an orange or something and then I'm not hungry. I'll just pop down here. I think it's a better perspective, better way to look at things. I'm now going to whisk these eggs, throw them in the pan, and we're going to have some scrambled eggs. This is the bread we use. This is one point per slice on the blue plan, which is the plan that we use. And I'm going to throw this in the toaster for us. These are our breakfasts. We have buttered toast and eggs. He's putting everything but the bagel seasoning on his eggs. He likes to put jelly with his toast. Oh. And I also like to add some no sugar added ketchup with mine. This is, I believe, one point for like a tablespoon. I don't really use that much. So I think I use like half a tablespoon. So this is a two point breakfast. 
Oh, and then I used this on the toast and this was zero points. Okay, so it's now coffee time. So I'm going to make a protein coffee. I've actually had these before I did WW, but now I just use this as a replacement for my creamer and my coffee. I go back and forth between the Premier Protein and this one. I'm out of my Premier Protein. I actually have some arriving in the mail today, so this is just what I'm using today. This is the vanilla one. I use my Nespresso to brew some coffee. Usually I use this one. And then I just pour it over ice with this. And I usually don't use this fully. I'll just drink the rest throughout the day. So this is how I've been enjoying my coffee iced lately. I'll also have hot coffee sometimes with some whipped cream on top. But, oh, I didn't mention, I think these are two smart points on the blue plan. I don't really care about like how many points my creamer is. I just, I genuinely like this. As I said, I had this before I did WW, so, and it keeps me full. I like that I don't have to like snack between breakfast and lunch and I do try to drink a lot of water in the morning before I drink my coffee so that's why I'm having coffee now and not with my breakfast so gonna go enjoy this and get back to work okay so we are in the kitchen it is time for lunch and I'm almost done with my first water bottle which this is half a gallon I actually have this in my favorites of February video I can link that here if you're interested in seeing all of my February favorites, you can check that out, but I love this water bottle. I feel like I drink a lot more water with it, and yeah, I'm almost done with this. I usually try to drink this by lunchtime. I think I'm slacking, but I think I'll try to finish this before I'm done making lunch, and then I'll fill it up, and then sit down with my lunch and start drinking the rest of it, and then I'll usually have this done before I go to bed. For lunch today, I generally have one of these things for lunch every day. I haven't been having my smoothies for lunch, which is unlike me. Ever since I started WW, I've just been doing different things for lunch, honestly. I genuinely like making smoothies because I like to fit in my spinach in them and I like to put in my collagen in them, so have my spinach to use up today. The other thing that I'm making today is I actually have been eating this like probably most of the days on WW. This is my blackened chicken and let me get the bag so you can see what it looks like actually. Okay, so this is the blackened chicken that I like to eat and Will and I actually bought this when we lived in Arlington all the time. We would take this as lunch and we would literally put this in little baggies and pack like sauce to go with it and some vegetables and this would be our lunch back in the day. So. We're very familiar with this. We already loved this, so we thought that this would be something that's easy. I'm sorry, the ice machine is really loud. <laughs> we thought that this would be something that would be easy to incorporate because we already liked it and it's a really easy thing for lunch. So I like to eat this. I'm going to start the air fryer up now actually because I'm going to just throw it in the air fryer or you can throw it in the microwave, but since we have the air fryer, I'm just going to throw it in here. I'll usually have six ounces of this chicken and I measure it out with my scale. I got this off of Amazon. I can link it down below for you guys. I've had this for, since we lived in our apartment, so a really long time. 
and actually I think I bought this whenever we started eating that chicken <laughs> so we could measure it out. I've made this in another one of my videos so I'll link the recipe but basically I just put as much spinach as my heart desires which is a lot and then I'm going to put in frozen pineapple and frozen mango. Okay so change of play. <laughs> The blender started smoking. So, <laughs> um, we're not having a smoothie today. <laughs> this is real life. Um, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> I really wanted a smoothie today, but that's okay. <laughs> I knew something was wrong when the smoothie tasted really bad. Like, bad in a sense that it tasted like metal like I know when I make a bad smoothie and I will admit it but this tasted like a burning metal taste it wasn't right so I can't believe that happened I don't know how I'm gonna make any smoothies for like a really long time or at least until we get the one that we maybe possibly registered for if someone ever gets us that one for the like wedding so I don't know we'll figure that out but now I'm gonna figure out what else I'm gonna eat for lunch cause like, I don't wanna just eat chicken. Okay, here's my lunch. I'm gonna go eat it, drink some water, and yeah, that is it. RIP smoothie. <laughs> okay, it's about 3 p.m. and it's snack time. And I'm just going to grab a mandarin from my fruit basket and snack on this for a bit if i'm feeling something else after this then maybe i'll have another one or something else but i usually like to grab these in the afternoon sometimes i have them with my lunch sometimes i have them in the morning but i like these and i'm on a mandarin orange kick right now so yeah they're really good and sweet and when i'm craving something sweet i like to grab for these I'll check back in with you guys maybe when I eat dinner or another snack or whatever, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. It's dinner time and I'm making a recipe that I've never made before. So what a better time than to film a video and make a recipe you've never made before, am I right? But yeah, I realized I was filming this video today and making this recipe and I was like, well, we're just gonna go for it. But I've been really wanting to make this. It's called a teriyaki turkey rice bowl. And I just thought it sounded really good. This is the inspo pick that we are going for. So... We'll see how it turns out. No, I'm not really like worried per se, but we'll see. Also, look at this carrot. It's kind of cute. I'm just excited, we'll see. I got out all of the things that I need so that it makes it a lot easier and we'll see what happens. I'm going to wash my produce. I'm planning on like chopping up all the vegetables while I start the ground turkey, we use the 99% lean, 1% fat ground turkey. This is zero points. And really the only part of this dish that is going to be like points or whatever, it's going to be like the sauce and the rice. So I'm gonna go wash the veggies and then we're just gonna, we're just gonna go to town and make this delicious dish. Hopefully it turns out okay and wish me luck.
So the first step is to heat up the oil in the pan and then we're going to add the onions to that. So I'm just starting up the pan now, getting the oil in there and then I'll add the onions. While I'm waiting on the pan to heat up and eventually I'll add the onions, I'm going to work on the sauce. So, and if you couldn't already tell, I finished chopping up all the vegetables. That took a while, so I don't know if this is gonna end up being like a weekly meal if we really like it, like in our weekly rotation. Um, it just takes like a while to like grate the carrots and finally chop the broccoli. So we'll see, but for the teriyaki sauce, it's like a homemade sauce. It takes low sodium soy sauce, some water, red wine vinegar, and some sugar and stuff like that. I am doing half the amount of sugar that it's asking. I'm going to make it half as sweet this time and see if we like it. You can always add more sugar, so. Okay, so we're going to assemble the sauce here and then I'll take it over and put it on the burner back there. So I already put a quarter cup of water in the pan. Now it calls for half cup of low sodium soy sauce. There's gotta be a better way to do this, but I don't really feel like messing with it because I don't wanna get it all over me. And it's pouring out fast enough, so whatever. We're just gonna do one tablespoon of brown sugar and then one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And then it calls for some garlic. I have this from Trader Joe's. You can chop up your own garlic if you want. I just find this is easier. Okay, I'm going to add the ground turkey to the pan. So I just added some garlic and now I'm going to add the ground turkey. Okay, I have that cooking behind me. So let's work on the sauce more. Okay, I added the sauce. This is what it looks like. I'm now going to put it in the bowls and we're gonna eat. Okay, we're gonna film our reactions to eating this new dish. So, plated it up. Kind of looks like dog food. <laughs> Don't say that. Here we go. Wait, let what? me get a bite. All right. With some rice. Thank you, babe, for making this. You're welcome. Here's, I hope it's good. Here's to dog food. Here's to dog food. Mika, this is what you're eating all the time? It's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I did half the amount of sugar in the sauce. I kind of like the broccoli cut up like that. And you Me don't too. even know there's carrots For in a it. Chinese dish too. Mm-hmm. Might have to do that in the future. Okay. Well, thanks for being a guest appearance. Okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner. This is where I'm at on my water, by the way. I'm kind of proud of myself. I've been drinking a lot of water today. Um, that was a weird flex, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go eat dinner, I'm really proud that I just slaved over this dinner, I swear. This is a more labor intensive dinner. This is not like a weeknight dinner every week, but it's, it's pretty good, so it might have to be. I'm gonna go watch some New Girl and I'll check back in when I eat again. It's dessert time and even if you're not on WW, let me just, let me just put you on to something. So these are the Fiber One brownies. It's not focusing, but you know what they are. They are so freaking good, but I never ate them this way before. So if you've never done this, you're going to do this. Okay, you 
open it and you put it on a plate and I, I broke mine a little bit but you put it on a plate you put it in the microwave for 20 seconds I'll be right back okay the brownie is done now this is not the whipped cream that we normally use we normally use a light blue one but they're out of the store rude then you take the whipped cream and you put it on top of the brownie and then your dog always sits next to you because she knows that it's dessert time and you have to give some to her too right lady there you go good lady and I swear to you it's the best dessert ever it's literally like a warm brownie and ice cream and I'm also gonna have some ginger tea I just always like having tea at night I don't always do but like a majority of the nights I just like having tea and reading my book it's just for me it's my self-care oh I also really the only thing that I accomplished between dinner and now I put on fake nails like the eight dollar fake nails <laughs> okay so that is the rest of like what I'm going to eat today so I think I'm going to end up the video here I'm gonna finish my brownie drink my tea head upstairs but that is the end of today's video and I do want to say that this is not what I eat every day. Every day is different. I mean, I definitely have something sweet every day. And I most of the time do have eggs and toast for breakfast. But every day is different. You do not certainly need to follow what I eat every day. <laughs> so take this as a grain of salt. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!